Hello everyone, this is Aster Wolf with the new bidding as Beritos turned up. Still in the expansion phases, I mean our research is going along with double the speed that I expected it to, because we're on easy research. Let's see how this goes. No, I missed. Oh no, I did get that right. Nice. Okay, elephant's good. I always remember that. Elephant's just amazing. And then more elephants. Uh, so yeah. Very nice, the easiest way to expand, I found in my tests, was just elephants. Lots and lots of elephants. And it's a pretty rich nation, so it's very easy to do. Uh, especially since I took excellent scales. Um, order 3, Grow 3, Luck 2, Magic 1, Productivity 1, Heat 3, but I'm not terribly worried about that. Um, I wonder what the thrones in this are. There's the throne of abundance, knowledge. Oh, darn, I was hoping there'd be the uh, throne of winter and the throne of cold or something like that, and then I could have balanced it back down to one. Oh, uh, he went something to do some. What were my what were my opponents in this again? I forget. There were there were only ten people on this map, which makes this a huge map as I as I, I feel at least. So let's see the pretenders of the world. Kebros, I think that's one of your space names. Um, in fact, I think that's like the, the Hound Pretender, the, the Death Hound Pretender. So Arcusafael, Ulm, Mixlin, Abyssia, Calum, Vanheim, Lanka. Oh, that's scary. I wonder if he knows how to play them. Um, Zibalba and Tilkine. Okay. Was Zabalba and Lanka are really scary. Uh, so is Micklin. If they know all about how to play. But this is newbie game. Uh, so we'll see how, how experienced everyone is. As I said, I think this is going to be the last game that I call myself a new. Okay. Go ahead and start up my next fortress. Does mean I'm not going to have anything to recruit this turn. But it's worth it to get that fortress up. I'll get another expansion party going in two turns, I think. I'll be able to just buy a bunch of elephants. Okay. And I've got one treasure. Aha, macro. There we go. Any of these limp yet? No, just frightened. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try and take that one, because this is a wasteland and barely even worth taking until you start searching for magic sites, or if I start summoning the Shadim. Um, not this air. I don't think they're going to be very useful this this game, but who knows, maybe they will be. I mean, they don't take much, you know, they only take one blood to summon, so it could just be a way to use blood slaves. Otherwise, you know, because just one of my standard uh, priests can do can do that, whereas all the other demons I'm planning on summoning require these bribes, which I will start recruiting eventually. I need to get up an income from coastal fortresses first. Okay. That's a pretty simple turn. Uh, yeah, almost done with construction on 22 RP a turn. Um, yeah, as I, as I said before, heading up to construction floor for some green dicing rods and some other nonsense. And then, uh, we're going to strain the blood magic up until 3 or 4. 4 for demon knights and storm demons. Devils are nice, but um, these two are better, I think. Demon knights are heavy cavalry, uh, are, are demonic heavy cavalry with fear, and storm demons are ethereal flyers that shoot lightning bolts, whereas devils are just kind of low protection, not that great HP demons that have a paralyzing tip. So they're good versus super good buttons, but not so much everything's. And the Frost Fiend I don't think I can even summon. Uh, I'll check that. Yeah, no, I don't have a water magic. Frost Fiends are kind of like worse storm demons though, in my opinion. And that's, that's good for this turn. See everyone next time. This was turn 5 as Betty Toast.